Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Modded Adventure Season 3. Hello guys, welcome back. Now, it's been a week since I posted the last video, and did I work a lot. I have so much I, I gotta show you guys, like, it's insane how much I've done. So, first off, um, let me take this, because I'm gonna explain that. But I made a shield, which is really cool, because I can actually use it. And it does work, which is good. So, I have that now. I've enchanted my the solar Sword of Bull and has Sharpness 1. Alright, then um, I put my other sword right here just because I don't want to break it. Um, so, yeah, I want to make sure I stay there. I'm going to hunt dragons some other... I think maybe in the next episode if I finish everything be related today. Now... I put on my armor here that I have work working on. I actually enchanted this whole armor with just one slot right here, that first one that appears, and I was like, I'm just gonna be ready for the next um, uh, the next dragon attack or whenever I actually go. I've also stacked myself with tin ignits as well as copper ignits like I I went mining and I found so much it took me like all this stuff in total took me to do five hours just like or more just trying to uh, it's not night yet what the heck come on now I can go to sleep but I have actually built a place where hopefully I see no, no mobs around the area I've actually built a this over here which was really fun to build because this is gonna be the pet area. Well I mean not the pet area, pet pet. But this is where I'm gonna keep all my you know, my sheep, my pigs, my cows, whenever I get any. This is a sheep area just because it's bigger, meaning I can hold more. I'll show you guys what that is back there in a second. Here I just have all my farming stuff in here and then this thing, the farmer's magic break, that's really cool. Um, you can do a lot with it. I can show you that sometime later. But I just want to give you guys a quick, you know, tour of the area that I've made. So here is a work in progress. There's nothing in here, but we'll get into that today because today I have some things I'm going to be working on. Alright, so yeah, today we're going to be actually dwelling more into the beekeeping, which is going to be good because I actually found a place where it goes into this. This is where I'm going to keep my bee houses, and I just decorated with flowers, and that's it. I haven't actually put the bees in yet. They're all back home over there. But now let me explain what this back area is. Now, the entrance is over there, but I'll go this way just for the sake of speed. This right here is the barn. Well, the farm. Yeah. It grew! Yay! Alright, cool. That's good. That's good. I, I don't know why it's like that, but I mean... Now I have one more. Awesome. Uh, and then here we got beetroots. So this is where I put all my crop. All this is just regular hay, and that over there is also the same. Same over there. I have a lot more of that. Here are all my carrots right here, and then this is all my beetroot. Uh, there are other types of fruit, not fruit, uh, vegetation here, but I'll get into those later. I've also cleared out this area just so I can actually make a path to the house in here, the mining house. I still will not show you guys this. It's still a work in progress. So I'll work on it. I'll show you guys when I'm done with it, but I actually got to finish the majority of this until I can expand into other things like pet housing you know like the wolves and dragons are gonna need a big big they grow pretty big trust me I've, I've been doing my research on the mods so um, now let's get right into the beekeeping that way we can actually start what I wanted to do on this episode which we'll be doing right now so, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to have to get all my copper ingots and my tin ingots as well as my bronze ingots. 
Now we've already made the bee house, so now what we're gonna have to do is we actually already have the sturdy casing. So now we're gonna wanna do the squeezer, which, yeah, the squeezer. So what we're gonna do now is we need stained glass, tin magnets, which I have a good amount of. Yeah. Tin, tin ingots so I have the tin ingots already then I have I just need the glass bricks and the glass wall or just glass in general so let's go do that um, I actually know where there's glass here I haven't actually harvested it yet no. so let's go do that right now it's over here in the letter lake I didn't destroy just for that reason uh, should we I think it's over here yeah, there it is. I can see it on the map. So, I'm gonna get some of this. And we actually need a good amount of these. Uh, we just need two, actually. Yeah. So, I'm getting this information through a website. That shows you information about the forestry mod. And that's what I'm looking at. So, we already did the bee house. Now, I'm just gotta focus on actual... Oh, yeah, by the way, I have a bunch of furnaces here. So... Alright, so now we're going to make some glass block, which are going to be very helpful because now we just need some tin ore and two pieces of glass. Alright, so we have three pieces of glass, but only two is needed, so what you do is you put them in this actual crafting menu like this, and you can get a squeezer. Now, I'm going to put this in that room I was telling you about, where I have a right under the actual beekeeping area where I was gonna was completely empty I was gonna put this stuff in there that way uh, I won't have to go back and forth so I'm gonna have the squeezer right here right there and we're, we can actually go inside of it and it's really cool so essentially with the squeezer what you can do is it you can make impregnated casings so it's really cool so it says to squeeze seeds into seed oil and get the seed oil you need to craft it. Seed oil is also used for a lot of recipes later on. So I guess I'll put some seeds in there. Let's go get some seeds. Which is why I, I it's a good idea I put everything in the same area here. The farming and the apiary. The, well, I keep calling apiary. The bee things. Bee related things. Because... I, I know for a fact the they were both gonna collide some way. I just didn't do enough research to know what was going to. So let's go and get this right here. So this right here, I put. It. Oh, uh, no power. Okay. Uh, this machine requires RF energy from the in, in, from an engine to function. Okay. So it looks like, like I'm going to need to craft a clockwork engine and to do that I'm going to need a good amount of things. So I'm going to need wood glass. I have one piece of glass already but it looks like glass is going to be a, a repeating thing here. So I might as well grab a bit more sand and have that started. That way I won't have to keep going back and forward like I am already. Lava? I hear lava. I don't know about you guys, but I thought I heard lava for a second. Uh, let me just grab all this sand. We're going to need a good amount of it. So I'm just going to take a guess and I'm just going to take that first layer right now. Alright, and after that, we're going to need to make an actual copper gear. That's all I need is one for now. Now I need to make a clock and a piston. So let's look how to make an actual clock. So clock. Golden. Okay, we got all this stuff, which is good. Oh, by the way, look how much blocks I have with this stuff, which is insane. Alright, so you put it there, and... That's a clock. And all I need now is a piston. How do you make a piston? And then I go piston. It's made with cobblestone, wood. I have wood, so I just need one, two, three. One, two, three. Three, four. I just put four there. Uh, what else did I need? Um, 
piston, iron and okay, I think I have no I need iron. So we got one piece and I should be able to make it now. Okay, so I have these right here. I got these right here. Put that right there. There we go. So I got a piston now. Now we can actually craft this item. Oh wait, I need more wood, right? Yeah. Three of those. And now I should be able to make it with that one piece of glass I have, that one copper, and the piston. There we go, clockwork engine is gonna work just fine. Amounts of RF right click to wind it up. Alright, see this is ooh. Already nighttime. There's so much you can do in this actual mod, which is amazing. This is why I had to actually help the actual page because I wouldn't be able to figure this out for myself, which is a good idea to actually take out and know how to do stuff instead of going blind into it. So I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to wind it up. Get it. Okay, so I put it like that. Okay, so how do I want? There we go! And it's working now! Working! Heck yeah! There we go! See, this is really cool. I love this already. It's actually making the seeds. There is power. Okay, I don't know why it keeps doing that. So, whoa! Look at the RF it goes. Okay, I can see why it does the whole empty tanks will be in the pipeline with the pipe pipe pet. But here's a seed oil, and I guess I have to do something to collect the actual oil. So I think I might need to make some glass. So while that's working over there, I'm going to make some glass bottles, and hopefully that's how it is. So. How's the glass doing? The glass is doing good. I have 18 pieces so far. Next thing I'm going to craft is a carpenter. And I'm going to put that next to the machine as well. Uh, by the wall. I think I might need another of those actual machines. Now that I think about it. So I'm going to make another compass. Okay, so it looks like I just need a bucket. I believe that's how it is. So let's do that. Looks like it's a bucket instead of actual bottles, because um, then I would see it as an individual item. Let's let's uh, let's put it right here. There it is. Need a lot of seats for that. So you just wind it up. Okay, that worked. I'm actually gonna put this. Uh, I want to put it here, but I like it there. It's really cool. Um, I need more seeds. A lot more seeds by the looks of it. So, let's go get some more seeds. And while we're getting the seeds, I can actually show you the farmer's magic break. Which is really cool. You use it, you get this by, let me actually just show you the actual uh, crafting. So, this is made with actual lapis right here. And I actually used a lot of lapis to make it. Good thing I actually had a good amount of it. And you just craft it. So it's really cool because you can actually. its It works just like bone meal. Which is really, really helpful. So I'm going to use it to get more of the seeds here. I don't know why it's lagging so much. I'm going to do that. Get these beautiful seeds here, and then I'm gonna replant some. Well, a lot of that I just took out of the ground. So, and after that, I'll show you how one of them looks whenever you actually get them. So, um, oh, these, these, this one right here. Also, this can also be used to grow. I mean, it works exactly like, you know, bone meal, and that's the really, the real magic right there. 
there's nothing else I can say besides it does what Bohemia does, that it has a durability bar and you can use it over and over again, which is really helpful if you want to speed farm or something. So basically you just click it and farm. And that's that's pretty much how it works. It's really cool. Um, I don't know how many times you can use it until it starts to um, break, but I mean that's a really cool thing you can do, and I love it because it's so helpful. So uh, let's uh, let's let's go back with the seeds that we got. We must have gotten a ton. Now we got 46. All right. So yeah. Basically, that's how it works. So I can literally do this, and then I have all this cool stuff pop up, including these flowers, which and one of the ways I actually got some of these flowers to be, as well as clearing this whole lot with grass was another way I got those flowers up there. So let's head up and put some more seeds in there. And it's on blue now, so it's slowly, slowly going there. Um, I'm gonna wind it up some more. Let's see how to. Oh, let me make sure that it doesn't. Okay, there we go. There we go. Alright, so it looks like it's gonna take a while, but while that's working, we're gonna make an act carpenter. Uh, let me see what other kind of uh, engines we can make in order to uh, engine. So we got the peat fired engine, peat organic fluid and lava, peat fired engine. So what is peat fired? What is peat? Redstone repeater, peat, uh, can fuel temp furnace operations, propolis, hmm, huh, make peat, ash, weird, well, I'm fine with the winding one for now, I don't need to overcomplicate things for now. So I'll, 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 I'm fine with that one for now. So uh, we actually got a good amount of uh, wheat, which is really cool. Alright, so now we need a bunch of bronze ore as again. Another sturdy casing. And some more glass, which the cool thing is that I already have, um, I already have that stuff. So I'm actually gonna make another of these bad boys right here. Oh wait, bronze. This copper. I need bronze. Okay. Good thing I have bronze. I put. <laughs> okay, there we go. Thirty casing. We got another one. Alright, that's good. Uh, now, I can start the carpentry and bronze. I have any more bronze in this, so looks like that is how it's made, right? I need three. There we go. It gives me eight, which is good because now I can actually make it. So, you put it like this in this formation, and it gives you the carpenter. Which is good. Uh, so that is got the carpenter, and I think we might or might not need RP as well for this. Okay, so I'll put it right next to the actual thing right here. There we go. And here, no recipe, no matching recipes with bombs for the supplied resources. I right, yeah, I know. Zero RPS, so it does need another one of these. Um, okay, it's not going to be helpful. So, let me see what this is right here. It's 
zero yo. Ah, okay, so looks like this is a book right here. Yikes. Oh my god. So it looks like we're gonna be needing a ton of seeds, a ridiculous amount of them. See, I could have made all this out of the video, but I was I wanted to do it in this episode just because it's a really good way to learn as well, you guys out there. I'm gonna get all I have a bunch of seeds, thankfully. I'm gonna put all this weed in there. Also have these flowers, I'll, do, I'll put that in there for now as well. Alright, so I'm back and I'm just here winding this real quick. So it hurts me. Alright, there we go. Alright, and I actually made another clockwork engine and I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna wind it up. There we go until it starts hurting me. Alright, there we go. Now we got something working. So I'm going to put all these seeds in there as well. And here we go. So we have the recipe right. But of course we're going to have to wait until we actually finish up all that oil. In order to actually start on making anything in the carpentry. So yeah, we're going to have to wait quite a bit. So basically what you do, you put the bucket in here, it puts the oil in here. Oh look, you're gonna even put water. Okay. Let's try putting some water in there. So let's put water. Maybe that'll work. I'm not sure if it will or if it won't. But I'm pretty sure you need oil for it. There we go, seed of oil bucket. Nice. Now we go over here. And we put it right there. There we go. Now we can actually go here and make what I wanted to make, which was the imp impregnated casing. So now it's working, and now we can build some of the stuff that we need, which is awesome! Finally, we actually get to this point, which is really good. Now I don't, I don't know why it's freaking out and it has this and this here, but I mean. I'm not gonna complain. Well, that works. I'm gonna actually put down these chests that I got just for this. So I'm gonna put them like right here. And I'm actually gonna put anything related to this in this area. So I guess I'm just waiting for uh, this to work. Okay. There's no power. Okay, there we go. So now we need more power. So now that we got that working, I'm gonna actually coil this one up so it can give us some power so it can start working. And I can get my impregnated casing. Let's go, there we go. Working really good, which is. I can't wait to actually get this because. That actually opens up a lot of new uh, recipes. Not that one. A lot of new recipes for us. Well, well, too. Which is this right here. The apiary. And then we also got the alviary. So maybe two of them would be just fine. Because it looks like there's only just two recipes that you need this impregnated casing for. So it's working like a charm, which is awesome, and then this is still going to be working here in the background. I'm going to ring it up again. There we go. I'm going to ring you up again as well. And there we go, I got the infrared casing. There we go, and it took what it needed. So, now I'm just, just going to store up all that extra RF there. Uh, and now it's going to stop. Yep, there we go. Put this back here to work on this side, and I'm just going to wind it up so it can go faster. 
alongside with the other one. There we go. I'm loving this mod. There's so much you can do and it's really fun. I'm loving exploring this whole thing in general. Now let's make a crafting table here for this area. That way I don't want to have to keep going back and forward as well. So now I can actually first first things first. I need some, uh, some more wood actually. Oh, it's dark out already. Let's go home. Here you go. Okay, I need to teleport here as quick as possible. I didn't want to have to walk out at night and get attacked by mobs. So, now that we're here, I think we can get this right here. There we go. Uh, and then we, have, we should have enough for the rest, right? Yeah. Well, since we're here already, I might as well just make it here. Um, so, let's do that. And then there's this two. And there we go, we got our apiary, awesome. Uh, let me get everything B related here as well. And bring it with us. So, ooh, there's a lot of uh, stuff there. We put all the flowers and the seeds in there. There we go, so we got all this stuff now, which is good. This is perfect, so we got the apiary that we wanted for a while now actually we started that last episode but um, you guys know how much I wanted this apiary so basically here's the apiary it's just like a bee house just different so I'm gonna put the apiary back up here uh, I'm actually gonna put all the, a the apiary and the bee houses up here so I'm gonna put the apiary on this side what's that Right here. Now let's put the bee houses over on this side. Right here. And there. And here. Now I'll put one more in here. So now we got a bunch of stuff here that is really gonna work out. Where there you go. Let me get these beauties over here. Spread them around the, the houses or something. And I still like to get metal. Okay, so now that we got an apiary, which is really cool. Um, there's no queens, of course. Oh, let's see. Metal. Let's put that. Meaning requires a drone. Yeah, I know. Let's put another metal in there. One more metal in there. Another metal. There's that right there. Look, it's working! I'll put these there. Okay, there we go. It's working, I think. The pollinating, awesome. Yeah, alright. Anyways, let me do the same thing for this one over here. Right, and now I need to actually make um, temperature normal, normal, climate is normal. Nice, now they're working, which is really cool, as well as this over here. Uh, no flowers, yeah, not for her, I'm sorry. But there are flowers here they do, do like, so this is going to work, work just fine for them right there. Alright, so... I'm actually going to head down and check out the process of the other stuff that we've made. So, I am, I mean, there's honeycombs, which is really cool. What am I, what, what am I going to do with honeycombs right now? So, let's check out what we can do with the honeycombs. Okay, let's go with honeycombs. We can't do anything else with the honeycombs. Okay, no, not that type of honeycomb. Uh, oh, okay, that's why. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put honey. I'm gonna put honey. Okay, I guess it's not in the crafting area. Uh, recipe list. Crafting recipes. Uh, Alright, anyways. Uh, so, oh, it stopped. I'm gonna. Crank it up again. 
So it's good to keep on cranking it up. Now I can keep on working as hard as I wanted to. There we go. Alright, so we dwelled a lot more into the actual mod, which is amazing, because now we have the apiary, we got bees working, and we have succeeded in finding out what kind of flowers they like. They look it looks like they like these right here. So I'm gonna actually continue finding look, they gave me more honeycomb. And there we go. Nice, nice. Now I just gotta find out what I can do with the actual honeycomb itself. So I can figure out what I'm gonna be doing with them. So Wow, that's uh, quite the episode, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching today's episode of Minecraft Modern Adventure Season 3. It was a very fun episode. Every, the bees are working just fine. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out what I'm going to do next episode while I figure out a little bit more about these out of the screen. That way you guys won't be watching a video of me struggling to figure it out. But yeah, thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!